Welcome back to another week of UCF Mike's Top 5. I'm your host, UCF Mike. Each week, I'm going to bring you a new UCF-related topic for us to discuss and debate. This week's list, Top 5 Forced Fumble. Number 5, 2017 Bam Moore versus Navy. The Knights were 5-0 heading into their game at Navy in 2017 winning by an average of 34 points per game. Navy was off to a 5-1 start of their own and gave UCF a tough battle all afternoon long. With UCF up by three in the middle of the fourth quarter, Navy was threatening in UCF territory when freshman Bam Moore gave UCF the big play they needed. Moore used a hit stick on Navy running back Daryl Bonner, jarring the ball loose and then pounced on it himself. This play set up Otis Anderson's 10-yard touchdown that sealed UCF's victory, 31-21. Number 4, 2009, Bruce Miller versus Marshall. There was a time when Marshall was considered one of UCF's biggest rivals. One of the classic games in this series came in 2009. Up 20-14, the Thundering Herd were one first down away from being able to kneel down and run out the clock. Bruce Miller had other plans, stripping Marshall quarterback Brian Anderson at the Marshall 30-yard line, leading to Rocky Ross's game-winning touchdown with 23 seconds to play. Number 3, 2017, Richie Grant versus South Florida. The 2017 edition of the War on I-4 was one for the ages. A back and forth shootout with the highest stakes. Following Mike Hughes' exhilarating kickoff return, South Florida had one last chance to stay alive. But redshirt freshman Richie Grant punched the ball out of tight end Mitchell Wilcox's arms and Shaquan Burkett recovered to keep UCF's perfect season alive and send the Knights to the conference championship game. Number two, 2013, William Stanback versus Memphis. With UCF trailing 17-10 with just over two minutes to play, the Knights were fortunate to tie the game as Chris Martin recovered a Storm Johnson fumble in the end zone. On the ensuing kickoff, Freshman William Stanback laid the wood on Marquise Warford, popping the ball up for grabs, and Derico Johnson took it 12 yards for the go-ahead score. The Knights scoring two touchdowns 10 seconds apart was the difference in the game as they won 24-17. Number one, 2014, Brandon Alexander versus Houston. UCF took control of this game in the third quarter and held a 17-6 lead going into the fourth. With the Knights' defense stifling Houston's offense all night, the Cougars made a change at quarterback, bringing in Greg Ward Jr. UCF struggled to contain Ward late in the game, and it appeared as if he would be the hero in the final minute. With 24 seconds to play, Ward stretched the ball while diving towards the end zone. But Brandon Alexander knocks the ball out of his hands through the end zone for a touchback. UCF would hold on to win 17 to 12. Thank you again for joining me on UCF Mike's Top 5. If you think I got something wrong on this list, make your own list. Put it in the comments and I'll be happy to discuss it. If you have any ideas for future UCF Mike Top 5s, put that in the comments too. While you're there, Give the Sons of UCF YouTube page a like and a subscribe. Until next week, I'll see you on UCF Mike's Top 5. Go Knights, charge on.